I'm Angela Duckworth. I'm a professor of psychology at the University of Pennsylvania, and I'm also the founder and CEO of a nonprofit I call Character Lab. I study grit, which I define as this combination of loving what you do, passion for what you do, and perseverance, working really hard and being resilient about what you do. And the thing that makes grit different, I think, than you know, just being a conscientious person or a self-controlled person is that you have this passion and this perseverance for the long term. Now, long term means something different if you're in third grade than if you're in middle aged. When I look at world-class adult performers, long term passion and perseverance can mean following something for years, decades, and in some cases, a lifetime, you know, working really toward the same distant end, even if you don't even think you're gonna get there. Now, what does it mean when you're in third grade? Well, I don't recommend that third graders sign up to do something for the rest of their lives. They are, after all, still figuring out who they are and what they're gonna do. But I do think that kids in third grade, first grade, eighth grade can begin to, to stretch themselves a little bit to see how much attention they can put towards something that they care about and not just give up after a day or two, but just a little longer maybe than they would have without some encouragement from a wonderful teacher or a caring parent or even a classmate. Why do I study grit? Well, one reason is that it's very different from talent. It's very different from being gifted or um, you know, smart about something. Now, I'm not saying that there's no difference in ability among kids. That's not the message of grit, that you know, everybody's equal. It's just that I think when we preoccupy ourselves with, with talent and IQ, we can get distracted from another part of the success equation that is so important, and that is you know, how much energy are you going to bring to what you do, and how much energy will you bring over the long term? If we only think about talent, then we maybe forget about effort and energy, about passion and perseverance. In my research, I find that grit and talent are hardly correlated at all, and sometimes they go in opposite directions so that somebody who's a little more able may be a little less gritty in certain samples. I find that grit predicts achieving things that you care about especially. So for example, if you start West Point Military Academy, are you going to finish your training? Grit predicts that. If you are in uh, a sales company and you're a salesperson, grit predicts whether you will stay in your job versus drop out and do something else. Grit is also linked to practicing really hard on things that you can't yet do as well as you'd like, but would make you better at what you do. That's called deliberate practice and gritty people do more of it. That's one reason why they may be world class if they stick with things for a very, very long time.